Hey Art Nerds, happy holidays. We're finally in December 2020 and I'm finally ready for my 2020 recommended art supplies for you guys. I've been working on it all year, selecting the best of the best, my absolute favorite art supplies. And I really wanted to try and find stuff that I haven't covered in gift guides in the past and stuff that maybe hasn't been covered in other artists gift guides. So I am really excited to show you guys some of my favorites this year and to share a little bit of my Christmas with you guys. So I'm about ready to dive into some of the best art supplies of 2020 with you guys. And I must have been really nice this year because there's some really good stuff in this Rex list. We've got the Tombow Fudenosuke brush pins. These are a favorite. Ooh, we've got something all the way from AliExpress with the Superior Travel Watercolor Palette. We've got alcohol markers. We've got great but affordable watercolors. We've got interesting watercolor pad shapes and more in this gift guide. So let's go ahead, let's head over to the studio and let's dive in to what 2020 has brought us this year. Okay, so we switched over to the studio. Better place for me to show you guys these wonderful art supplies. And we've got a nice, warm, cozy, crackling fire going. We've got this place festively bedecked with tinsel and lights. And I think it's time to start unwrapping and talking about what's on our 2020 recommended art supply guide. So this is in no specific order because everything's gotten kind of mixed up. So I'm just gonna run it through you guys. Although there are two, oh, what's the word? Um, honorable mentions that aren't quite art supplies, but I would still recommend them to most artists. Let's start with these beautiful watercolor pencils. These are the Karen Dash Museum Aquarelle watercolor pencils at and at around 440 each. They're a little bit pricey, but if you have someone who's serious about watercolor and serious about watercolor pencils, these are kind of the creme de la creme of watercolor pencils. I reviewed a lot of watercolor pencils this year and Karen Dash promises watercolor quality pigment in these pencils. These are legitimately the best watercolor pencils I have reviewed this year. If you're looking for something a little bit more affordable though, the Derwent Intense watercolor pencils are great. They're technically not watercolor, they're technically India ink. And the Supercolor 2, also by Karen Dosh, a little bit cheaper than these. They're also pretty dang good. At about half the price, they're not as good. They don't perform as well. I do have a head-to-head -head test, but they are a pretty decent second. And I think any younger artist, um, a newer watercolor artist, a student watercolor artist, or a teenager would be psyched to get the Super Color 2 watercolor pencils. But for an older, more experienced artist who has refined taste, the Karen Dosh Museum Aquarelle watercolor pencils make an excellent present. Speaking of watercolor, Shin Han's PWC watercolors are fantastic. I didn't finish my review this year, I haven't finished the field test, but they've ended up in my daily driver palette, so I have given them a lot of use. They're available in sets like this one here, which was $35 from David's Art Supply here in Metairie, Louisiana. And this is the five color kind of starter set. You can also find them open stock at many places. If you're lucky enough to live in Louisiana, David's has the sets and the open stock tubes. They are comparable, I would say, with Holbein watercolors. The tubes are quite generous, and over at David's, the prices are crazy affordable. So these are high on my 2020 recommendation list, and I hope they become more popular so we can see them carried in more stores. On the watercolor note, this is the Superior Travel Watercolor Palette. This one's really neat. 
because it's got several features that I haven't seen in other watercolor palettes but that I really love. You can get this on AliExpress and prices will vary. I'm hoping if it becomes more popular, more US based retailers will carry them. Sometimes you see things from AliExpress or from Superior carried on Amazon under other brand names. So we have a collapsible silicone water bucket. It holds a lot of water. We also have the actual paint section of our travel palette. You can see underneath it has been filled. So you can fill this with tube watercolors. You could probably stick in half pans if you really want, but this thing really shines with tube watercolors because it has a silicone gasket that keeps your tube watercolors still really fresh. In fact, I took this out in, I want to say September or August, and these watercolors are still pretty fresh. So that silicone gasket really does a great job keeping your colors fresh. Now, I would recommend this for basically any watercolor artist or anyone interested in watercolor. It's compact enough that you would be happy to take it with you when you do plain air planning with this generous paint bucket, but it can also be used for home use. And the user can fill it with whatever watercolors and whatever colors they like best. So if you do comics, you can fill it with your comic palette. If you do portraits, you can fill it with your portrait palette. You don't have to just use it for travel watercolors. So to me, for someone with limited space, like a student artist, someone in college, or a teenage artist, this is a great gift because it's professional quality, it's very sturdily built, they can travel with it, and uh, it also keeps your paints fresh. And tube watercolors do tend to be more economical than half pan watercolors, but it's still a great gift for an established artist who enjoys plein air painting or is looking for something a little bit more compact. Maybe they take it with them when they do shows or they do conventions or they do live painting demonstrations. So the Superior Watercolor Palette is a great watercolor gift. I ended up really liking the Dewar Art Watercolor Pad. So this is a round watercolor block. It is cellulose-based paper, so it's a less expensive paper. There are cotton rag watercolor blocks on the market, but if you're not sure about the format and you just want to play around with it, this thing is great. It takes alcohol marker well, it takes watercolor well. You can add a lot of water to it because it's sealed all the way around. Now, if you're looking to buy this in the US, Uli Arts sells this on Amazon. I'll get back to you guys with the price, but with this thing, prices will vary since it's from AliExpress, and it's gonna vary based on the size as well, but expect to pay about $10. Also, if you're ordering it from AliExpress, expect it to take about a month to arrive. If you're ordering it from Amazon under the Uli name, and I'll make sure I link that down in the description below, it should come basically when Amazon says it's gonna come. Unless you live in like rural Louisiana like I do, Amazon's pretty accurate with their times. Next, we have the Tombow Furinosuke brush pins. You guys have heard me talk about these fantastic, colorful brush pins so many times on the channel. Tombow markets them to brush calligraphers, but as a comic artist, a watercolor artist, and an alcohol marker artist, I think these are fantastic. I really love them. They're waterproof and alcohol marker proof, and you can make some really cute colored line arts with these. They're available open stock, depending on your art supply store, but they're also available on sets, and they recently released some neon colors, so they're expanding the color range for these amazing brush pins. Speaking of brush pins, we have the Kuritake Cambio Tambien brush pin. These are pigment braced brush pins, so they're going to be alcohol marker safe and waterproof, very similar to the Tombow Foot in a Skin. These are cool because they are larger, brush pins. Again, they're being marketed primarily in the U.S. to brush calligraphers, but if you go to the Kuratake site, you'll see that they have applications for people who like to do watercolor and people who like to make their own cards as well. These are really fun to play with and they're great if you draw a little bit larger or you do larger illustrations. I have another interesting travel watercolor palette for you guys. This one is really more for travel watercolor. The Superior Cup could be useful in a studio setting, but this thing is really all about compact travel. So this is the Superior Watercolor Watch. 
it comes on a rubbery, very adjustable wristband. So it fits my tiny wrist. It'll probably fit much larger wrists as well. And this thing is cool because it is a transforming, collapsible watercolor palette complete with watercolor pans. So this one is already filled. It's got a super tiny mixing surface and it's super tiny scrubber sponge, but I never use that. And this thing is really cool because your wrist can provide a lot of support so your hand can hold on to your, who's in my hat there? Your hand can hold on to whatever watercolor substrate you're painting with, or it can hold extra brushes or what have you. You don't have to use your other hand to hold this. And it can work for left-handed people as well as for right-handed people. Now, this is another AliExpress gym, so you're gonna wanna order it sooner rather than later. And I apologize, I know this gift guide is a little bit late for this, but it would make a really fantastic early January present or a birthday present. Now, since it came from AliExpress, prices do vary. I'll make sure to link it down in the description for you guys so you can find it. Doing a little scoping. So next, we have the Stonehenge Aqua Black Watercolor Paper. And this isn't necessarily 2020 new. I think it was available in 2019 as well, but I kind of fell in love with it in 2020. So this paper is really great with metallic watercolors. They really just pop off the paper. And I've done a few workshops here on the channel where I show you how to do just that, painting pumpkins and betta fish. And this is a cotton rag watercolor paper. It's got a fairly fine tooth to it, so it's not too aggressive. And this is great if you wanna put those metallic watercolors to good use. This is a really fun paper. Now, it is not block bound, so if you're gonna apply a lot of water to it, you are gonna to wanna to secure it to whatever surface you apply it to. But for some of the metallic watercolor paintings I've done, I didn't really bother to secure it at all, and I didn't notice significant warping. So this is the Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press. It's available in, I wanna say, three sizes. This is the eight by 10 pad. I know it's also available in nine by 12. And again, prices will vary. I think it varies from like seven something to 24 something, but I'll have all of that listed down in the description below for you guys. Speaking of, black watercolor paper. I also really recommend Shizen black watercolor paper. It's a little bit more affordable than the Stonehenge pad when you buy it in the pre-cut 50 piece set or 50 sheets of paper set. This is also a cotton rag watercolor paper. It's made from recycled fibers. So if you're eco-conscious, this is a great one. And the reason I really like it and recommend it is you get 50 sheets for a very affordable price, which really invites you to kind of play around with black watercolor paper to become more familiar with black watercolor paper. And I think this one could be great for card makers because you, it's already pre-cut, it's already a good size for attaching to your card face, and because it's so economical, you're more likely to play around, experiment, and take risks you might not otherwise take, which here on this channel, when it comes to art, drawing, and painting, I encourage you guys to do just that. So now we're gonna talk about alcohol markers, and I have two standout favorites this year, although I have reviewed quite a few alcohol markers. We have one from early in 2020, and this one was much requested, so you guys can probably guess what it is. And this one is also one I highly recommend if your kids are asking for alcohol markers, um, if you have a friend who's new to alcohol markers, like they never really use them and they're not sure if they'll like them, and that would be the Ohuhu brush markers. This is the 48 piece set. They're now, that the brush markers are now available in larger sets, but they've been available in bullet tips for a while. But you guys who watch my channel know, I'm not a bullet tip kind of gal, I am a brush tip kind of gal. So again, these are gonna vary in price depending on how many are in the set. The 44, uh, 48 piece set is around $35, but sometimes it's a little higher, sometimes it's a little lower, depending on demand. It has a fiber brush tip, which normally I'm not super hot on, but considering it's a little less, it's like 75 cents a marker, I think that's a fair price. And these things perform about as well as more expensive markers. So they are a great gift 
for someone who's new to alcohol markers, someone who's younger and wants a lot of alcohol markers, but uh, you maybe don't want to spend $5 a Copic marker on Copics or $6 a Prismacolor marker on Prismacolors, which I know that people tend to get sticker shock with these, or you're maybe not even willing to spend the two something per marker for the Blick Studio brush markers, which are my other big economical alcohol marker favorite. So I would recommend getting them started on the Ohuhu brush markers and then slowly adding more expensive markers to their collection as they know whether or not they even like alcohol markers, because they're not for everyone. And what, as they start to realize they need more colors or they need different colors or uh, their markers are running low. So this is a great way to affordably give somebody a lot of alcohol markers. They're gonna perform decently enough and they're gonna be able to make the sort of art they're hoping to make with these markers. So I highly recommend the Ohuhu brush markers. We had another very accessible marker cont contender this year, and they want to fall out of their confines. We have the Spectrum Noir Triglin markers, and they are available in brush tips, and they're available in bullet tips. So that's what the bullet tip looks like. That's what the brush tip looks like. The brush on these are very similar to the Ohuhu markers. What's neat about these is you basically get three markers in one. You get a light tone, you get a mid tone, and you get your darker tone. And that makes these a shoe in for blending. So if you struggle with blending, if you don't quite understand how to get the blends you want, these are gonna make it so much simpler. Something else I really like about these is they're about $4.99 a marker. If you buy them in sets, they're less, but if you're buying them open stock, they're about $4.99 a marker. And it really doesn't matter where you're ordering them from, they're gonna still be about $4.99 a marker. So you're basically getting three markers for $4.99, which is a little bit cheaper than the Ohuhu brush markers. And the $4.99 applies to the bullet nib as well as to the brush nib. So I think that wraps it up for our art supplies. We still have two honorable mentions to go, but I'm just gonna recap really quick. So we have the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Markers in bullet tips and in brush tips. I highly recommend those. We have the Ohuhu Brush Markers, perfect for younger artists or people who are new to alcohol markers or people on a budget who can't really afford expensive art supplies or can't afford to give expensive art supplies. We have the Shizen Black Watercolor Paper. Great because you get 50 sheets in a pad, so it's quite economical if you want to play around with your black watercolor paper or if you're into card making. We have the Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press, which is available in larger sizes and plays so nice with your metallic watercolors. We have your Kuratake Cambio Tambien brush pins. These are about $7.49 each. They also come in sets, and it's about $44 something for the set of, I want to say seven. I think there's 14 total colors in these. These are pigment based brush pins, so they're great if you do alcohol marker art, watercolor art, or even inked art. We also have the Tombow Furinosuke brush pins. I don't know if these are pigment based, but they are alcohol marker safe and waterproof. They're available in a much smaller tip for those of us who like to work in smaller sizes. They're available in more colors than the Cambio Tambians and they're available in neons and they're also much cheaper, uh, a little bit less than $3 a brush pin. We have the Superior Watercolor Watch, which is great for people who don't have a lot of working space or like to travel and paint when they're traveling. And this is available from AliExpress. We have the Superior Collapsible Watercolor Cup. This is great for people who are just getting started with watercolor who might have limited space to paint or for people who enjoy traveling and painting using tube watercolors. We have the Dora Art Watercolor Round. This is a round watercolor block. It's always fun to play around with the format of your watercolor illustrations. We have the Shinhan PWC. PWC stands for Professional Watercolor. These are affordable tube watercolors, quite comparable to Holbein watercolors. If you can find them, 
They are around five to seven dollars a tube, depending on what series they're in. We have series A, B, C, and D, uh, progressing in price with A being the cheapest. But as you can see, you get a lot of watercolor. So you get a lot of bang for your buck with that one. And we have the Karen Dash Museum Acrel watercolor pencils, the creme de la creme of watercolor pencils. So that wraps up our art supplies, but I did mention that we have two honorable mentions, mentioning the mentions. So two extra presents underneath my Christmas tree this year. What could it be? Let us see. Ooh, all right. So we have Zenny eyeglasses. These are great because they're very affordable eyeglasses available in a wide variety of styles. Most of them are plastic or metal frame glasses and they're great if you're an artist like me, you don't make a lot of money, you don't have a lot of money to spend. They range from $9 a frame to $30 a frame, which is sometimes 35. So they're very, very economical. This is a great gift to give yourself this year. If you have poor eyesight, you do need a prescription first, but you can just fill in your prescription and order your glasses. So this is a great way to affordably buy some new glasses this year. And you know, as an artist, being able to see is really important. And then my final, final gift this year, and this is to my ADHD friends who can use a planner or like to use a planner or like to use calendars, or just anybody who's busy all the time like me, we have the Happy Planner. And I've talked about the Happy Planner in the past. Uh, this is, Actually, my second Happy Planner, I refilled it with 2021 stuff, and I really love and appreciate this thing. As somebody with ADHD, I know planners don't work for everyone with ADHD, but they work for me, and they are the reason I'm able to accomplish so many things. It's why I was able to run a Kickstarter, get married, and move all in the same two months. So if you enjoy planners, if you utilize planners, the Happy Planner, is a planner system that's quite modular. It's an arc ring system. It comes in really fun, bright, Lisa Frank-esque colors. So if you find your traditional planners to be, uh, this hat, give me a sec, y'all. Gotta clip the hat to my head. I got so tired of messing with it. Okay. If you find regular planners to be kind of depressing, kind of boring, kind of all the same, the Happy Planner is a great alternative that comes in fun colors that you're actually going to want to use. So these are my 2020 art supply recs with two bonus recs that my artist friends or just anybody might find really helpful. Remember to check the description below for links, uh, not only links to where you can buy these, but also links to my reviews of these products over the year, especially if you're on a budget and you're not sure if it's a good fit for your loved one, or if you're buying yourself a Christmas present this year, I can't say I'm above that, and you wanna make sure this is the present you wanna give yourself. I've got reviews for all of these products with the exception of the Tombow Furinosuke, um, and that's just because I use the heck out of these things and I mentioned them in Buku videos. So they do get a lot of airtime and they've gotten a lot of field testing over this past year. But I hope you guys uh, are inspired and I hope you guys are looking forward to making art in 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed this 2020 gift guide as much as I rec enjoyed recording it. We have some great art supplies for 2020. Some of them are fairly new. Some of them have been around for a little while, but they're new uses for them. Some of them have come all the way from another country and I can't wait for you guys to try them out and fall in love with them the way I have. And some of them are finally available at a variety of art supply stores as well as through Amazon. So I'm going to have links to where you can buy all of these goodies down in the description below. The Amazon links are affiliate links and by buying from those Amazon links you are helping to support this channel which 
helps make my holidays merry and bright since that's how I afford the art supplies that I review as well as the Christmas presents that I'm going to be giving this year. So if you want to thank me for the hard work I've done in 2020 and help make my Christmas a little bit merrier and brighter, that's a great way to do it. So for, from all of us at Natto Stu Studios, me, Joseph, and of course, Bowie, we want to wish you guys a happy holidays and a happy, merry, and safe 2021. Thank you guys so much for a fantastic 2020, and I can't wait to see you guys next year. Happy holidays, guys.